Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food that we are about to receive. Mm -hmm. Let it be a nourishment to our bodies and bless the hands that prepare it in the mouth of Jesus. Amen. Now you ain't have to do all that. Mm -hmm. Girl, Maya. And it's your boy Daniel here. And we are back with another MD Takeover video. Yes, but before we even get into this video, y'all stop what you're doing. Like this video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. If you're new to our channel, we welcome y'all wherever you came from. We welcome you to the Takeover Game. We have new content every Tuesday and every Thursday. Y'all, trust me, you don't want to miss it. We have so much fun making these videos. And sis, come on, we doing to D. We doing to D. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, what the kids be ooh, doing? Ooh, ooh. I don't, know. I, don't, I don't think they do that. Anyway, <laughs> y'all, today we are going to do a uh, chicken pesto pasta. Mm -hmm. Well, really, Daniel's going to do it. I've been, I'm gonna be doing? sitting over there uh, supervising she like I do this. You know, I'm, I, I manage as well. Anyway, anyway we doing a chicken pesto pasta mm -hmm. with a little side salad, if you mm -hmm. will. Are we doing, we having a salad? Yeah, I got salad. Yeah, I don't know about the salad. I like the good salad. Or a mixed vegetable, whichever one we decide. Anyway, we're going to bring y'all into our kitchen come and everything. Come, come, come. And, and, and y'all can hear the sizzling sounds and the laughing uh -huh. tones. Of wait, wait, if y'all hear us talking in the background. Don't worry about it. <laughs> just, just don't worry about it. Y'all know me and Dave don't know how to be quiet when we get around each other. Uh, you know who? You know who? Each other. So, anyway. Y'all, this is like a quick weeknight meal. It doesn't take long, like a little 30 minute uh, little little dinner. So come along with us. I'm gonna show y'all how to make it. And then y'all too can enjoy this beautiful pasta, okay? Come on, come on, come on. You too. Come on, y'all better come Tap. on because I skipped come the gym on. so we can go, so we can see y'all. So come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Y'all better come on because I skipped the gym so we can go, so we can see y'all. So come on. Yeah, I got a two pack coming in. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it worked like this. All right, so starting off with my pasta water, I put a little salt and a little oil in my pasta water, and now we are off to the chicken breast. So mm -hmm. I had what four chicken breasts, and I just cut each of them in half so that way it can go a little bit further. And then I went to season my chicken breast, so I put a little salt on there, and then I put a little pepper. Some pepper, I always start with that, and then I had to add my auxiliary seasonings after that. So I had a little garlic powder, a little onion powder, because those are two of my favorite. I added a little adobo to it, my Tony Saturi. I added some Italian seasoning. After I added a little uh, cayenne pepper for a little extra spice. If you can't handle spice, you don't have to do that. And then afterwards, you wanna pat that seasoning into that chicken, massage it in there. You gotta get it all nice in there. So for this dish, I use some fettuccine alfredo. I put that into my boiling pasta water so that could go down off in there. And I did not break that fettuccine. Don't you break your fettuccine. You use you some tongs to put that in there. Then on to cooking my chicken. So I cook my chicken in my cast iron skillet. I just put a little olive oil down at the bottom and then I put four of them in there at a time. You don't want to overcrowd your pan because you want to get that nice crispy chicken you want it to be brown i need my chicken to be like the color of my skin i need it to be so good and so fresh and then after it's been in there for enough time you want to go ahead and flip it over i think i maybe cooked it for maybe seven minutes per side or something like that so i don't know i just i just cooked it until it looked good so i flipped all of them over like that that last one was being stubborn not being stubborn okay we got it we got it so you gotta put that on there let it cook on the other side listen to that system all right after that i went back to my uh pasta water so i took some pasta water out of there you'll see in a second why i took this out of there so you want to have about a cup of that pasta water because it's nice and oily and salty and starchy that's gonna help us later so i took that out went back to check on my chicken my chicken we're not trying to give anybody salmonella out here so i had to make sure my chicken temps out at 165 degrees Really, you could uh, have it tip out at 160. Go ahead and pull it out and then let it come up to temperature afterwards. So now I've taken my pasta out and I've drained it. I'm gonna put it back in that same pot that I used because baby, who got time to do all them dishes? Now I, I'm not about to do that, okay? Okay, so I'm putting my pasta back in there. It was being a little stubborn. Mm -hmm. 
and that's that pasta water. So I'm gonna put that pasta water back in there just to loosen up the pasta and to moisturize a little bit more. I mix that up in there. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our pesto to this. So I just got some Simply Pesto because I didn't feel like chopping all that and making all that myself. You just get this out the produce aisle in your store. I put my pesto in there. Um, depending on how much pasta and pesto you have, you may wanna add a little bit like I did and then mix it up and then see if you need to add some more in there. So that's what I did there. I'm just mixing in my pesto, getting that all nice and mixed up and yummy like, yes. When you add your pesto in there, you can also go ahead and add whatever other seasonings that you want to it. I was not satisfied with the amount of pesto that I had, so I went ahead and added the rest of the jar to that. Added the rest of my jar of pesto and then this is how you know i was raised in a black household but you got to get all the nooks and the crannies out of there so watch what i'm about to do y'all watch this i'm about to take the rest of that pasta water and i'm gonna pour it in there and then i'm gonna shake it up in that can i'm gonna get the rest of that pesto out of there that's what we're about to do because i'm not about to waste any of that pesto do you hear me we pay for that pesto that pesto pesto is expensive pesto is expensive so shake that can up get the rest of that pesto out of there and pour it in there once you're done it's gonna look like that all nice rich and creamy the last thing that i have to do this is the last step i'm just gonna cut my chicken breast here look how good that chicken breast look there the pile of chicken breast that's just sitting there oh it looks so good so i just took a serrated knife and i cut my chicken breast up yes look how good it looks so that we can put it on top of that pasta Mm, the chicken breast was so good. But y'all know before we put it on top of the pasta, we had the taste of the piece. If I had to bend down and taste one of the piece of that chicken, my might even the piece too. Mm -hmm. That chicken was real nice and moist like. And then look, baby, you just push that back on together like you ain't even take a piece out of that. If, look, if you know, you know, all right? Next, I fixed my bowl of pasta. I got my pasta there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and plate it up and get ready to eat. I'm going to sit my chicken on top of my pasta there. Yes, ooh, it looks so good. I just garnished it with a little Parmesan. After the Parmesan, I put some red pepper flakes. Put some red pepper flakes on top of there for a little added spice. And last but not least, I just added some Italian seasoning to the top of it. Got my red pepper flakes. And then I got my Italian seasoning. And y'all, that's it. This dish is done. All right, y'all, ya es hora de comer. It's time to eat. The pasta is done. So we're gonna go ahead and get a little taste test. Oh, let's pray first. Oh. Dear Lord, thank you for this food. We're about to receive. Let it be a nursery tie by his best hands to prepare in the mouth that should be in Jesus' name. Pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I'm gonna be frank. Baby, look. I ain't have as it's much cheesy. pesto. I ain't have as much pesto as I would have liked because the stone only had so much. Baby, I made it work. <laughs> okay, so. Stone had Go ahead and get you some. I said some, not all of it. See, this is this is what's wrong. Never mind, I, I'm not gonna say that word on camera. But people's greetings. Mm -hmm. Just look at it. Mira, wow, you ready? Mmm. All right, so we gonna have. It's good. I don't know if I'm hungry. It's good, but I'll I see what you mean about the pest. But it works though, because see, that's why you got that pasta water. The pasta water saves your soul, okay? But still. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah, look. Maybe. We're about to go on and get a five hit through this pasta, but... I know. I just, I just need one more bite. Baby, if y'all could just taste it. Y'all could just taste the hem of the, uh, of the other pasta. And the shrimp. I mean, and the chicken. Mm. Mm. See, that's one thing with this pasta, baby. Look, if you had shrimp, you had fish or whatever, just take it. I wish I had a little spoon. Just take it and you add it to them. Y'all see that sting? That's that good sting. But y'all... This is a real simple recipe that y'all can try at home. Mm -hmm. If y'all try it, make a video on it, TikTok, whatever, send it to us and let us know how it came out. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and get out here. Make sure I like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Happy eating. Bye. Peace.